We live in a world where it's easy to get blown around. The winds can come from any direction. Gain, loss, status, loss of status. Praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These blow at different times. But they, go, they can all blow at once sometimes and create tornadoes in the mind. So we need a good place to take shelter. This is why we meditate. Give the mind a place where it can settle in, have its own space inside. Because your sensation of the breath is something no one else can feel. And so far they haven't privatized the breath yet. And they can't force you to breathe in an uncomfortable way. So this is your territory. Make the most of it. Settle in here. It's like moving into a house. You decide what you'd like to have inside, in terms of the furniture, in terms of the artwork. You make it a place where it's good to settle in, so that when the storms come up, you have a good place to stay. You've got all the food and clothing and shelter and medicine that you need inside. Food in terms of the sense of pleasure. Clothing in terms of the fact that as you're meditating, you're not breaking the precepts at all. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Shelter, of course, is that you have a place to hide away. The world can be crazy as it wants to be. There are times when you can stop some of the craziness, and other times it's just too strong. But you've got your protection in here. You've got your discernment, which protects you from picking up wrong ideas, wrong views from other people. In the medicine, when greed, aversion, and delusion do come up in your mind, because they don't all come from outside, they come from inside as well. You've got the discernment to treat that as well, to realize that you don't want to go there. You don't need to side with every thought that comes up in the mind. And when you're properly sheltered like this, then you can live safely in this world. You can venture out when things are not, not bad outside, but when things do get bad outside, you can come back in. But you want to make sure that you have a good place to stay and that it's kept in good order all the time. So meditation is not something you do just every now and then. It's an everyday activity. Because you always want to make sure that your shelter is in good shape, it's well stocked. Because emergencies can come at any time. When you've got your safe place inside and you care for it well, then you won't get damaged by the fact that you're born into this human world. So many people do get damaged. As the Buddha said, lots of people after the human realm just go down because they get carried away with things that they like and don't like, carried away with greed, aversion, and delusion. And these things have huge range in the human realm. So you have to be very careful about these things. You want to make sure, at the very least, you maintain your human status by observing the precepts, by developing good qualities in the mind, by being generous. Generosity covers all the, the practice. Not only give of things, you give safety to other beings through the precepts. You give up your defilements that you like, all the cravings and clingings that you hold on to. And that way you find something a lot better appears in, the, in their place. 